Hey, what's up guys? Chris Buell here, and today I'm in a tunnel. You want to find out why I'm in a tunnel? Let's go back and find out. Hey, what's up guys? So we're out here in Spanish Springs again, and today we're going to be checking out some uh, abandoned mines out here just south of Pyramid Lake. Now, I don't know a whole lot about the history of these mines. I did find some literature that uh, says that this was the Cinch Mine and the Burris Mine. Uh, I don't know exactly what they mined, when they were active, but it's a really neat spot and I'm really excited to show you guys what's out there. Alright guys, so we found the turnout. We're on the dirt road that leads up to the mines here. We're just going to Go ahead and get the GPS out so we can start logging. I want to log this turnout so I don't miss it in the future. Look at that. That is just incredible. first mine of the trip I'm looking up on the hillside here and we got a fenced off area with a sign so I'm thinking that's gonna be uh, one of our mines right up there so let's go have a look at it And now this one looks like it's mostly caved in. But here we are, we made it to the very first mine shaft of the expedition. And this is a, a relatively minor one. I don't see a whole lot of slag coming off this mine. It probably didn't go very deep. Um, hopefully it shows through on the video this shaft itself went down maybe 10 or 15 feet and then it looked like it had all caved in. I don't see any sort of uh, uh, you know timber or equipment out here so I mean it doesn't really look like they had uh, the infrastructure for this to really be a big mine. This may have just been like an exploration hole or something but uh, let's go ahead and continue on and see what else we can find shall we? I see another pretty sizable one off over there. So let's go ahead, grab the cameras, and uh, take a look, see what we got over there. And what is this? Some kind of skeleton. That was probably a wild horse, judging from the size of the bones. My goodness, look at all that. So here we have most of the skeleton of what looked like was probably a wild horse or a cow. It's really not uncommon to find skeletons out here. You know, I mean, just by nature of, uh, there are a lot of wild horses and wild animals that roam around out here. Yeah, but it's always really neat to find one, especially one this intact. Now this one, it looks like it's been out in the sun for a while. It's pretty bleached. It's uh, starting to, uh, to uh, you know, decompose and decay. But, uh, I mean, to find a whole spine like that, that's pretty amazing. So we're coming up on this set of tailings here. And if you look up the hill, you can see there was another mine up there in that rock crevice. 
So we're gonna go investigate those and see what that's all about. I don't know what that's all about. So we're on top of the tailing pile now. And looking out, there's the Jeep way down there. And there's the shaft. Wow, still got some lumber intact there. All right. Now again, you can see that this one has long ago caved in. Now that we've seen what uh, this site has to offer, we're gonna wander up the hill a little bit and see what this is all about. Uh, you can see there's a decent sized chunk of tailings coming out the bottom of this rock, so that indicates to me that there was probably at least some sort of small hole that was dug up here as well. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on this video, but there's a, like a stake or a post sticking up out of the top of the rock. So that's where we're gonna go ahead and start our search and see if we can find another mine shaft up here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got a mine up here. And there it is. Oh my gosh. This one, as you can see, goes down for a little ways. You toss a rock down there, and we got water at the bottom. Well, looks like uh, this one was sealed off, or else they started to or something. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this one's open. It doesn't have the, uh, the fence around it like the other ones do. I gotta say guys this is really exciting there's actually a lot of mines that uh i didn't even know about uh that i really hadn't ventured far enough off the road to come look at like this one we just saw um, i'd never been up to this one before so really this place is just a treasure trove and the longer that you're out here the more you're gonna find uh they're just everywhere out in these hills so we could do 10 trips up here and still not see all the mines that are up here which is really amazing uh you know i'm very fortunate to live out here where I do, to have all this wide open space uh, where I can just go explore. I certainly don't take that for granted ever. Now the weather is absolutely perfect right now. We could not have asked for a better day to come out and go exploring. Uh, we got another vehicle coming up, so we're gonna see what that's about. So we got another uh, truck coming up behind us. Uh, okay, they're taking that, uh, they're taking that side road that uh, would have led us up to the tailings. So yeah, probably nothing to worry about. Probably just another uh, another explorer out there checking stuff out. We've got something out here on our left. We're just gonna hop out real quick and see what that's all about. And this guy, it looks like he's stopped over there. That was someone's dashboard. Little AC vent. Look at this. The five speed. That's pretty cool. You know, this is all just stuff that uh, people have brought out to shoot. But out here we got uh, some wooden walls. It looks like this might have been a. Uh, a house or a homestead or part of a ranch. Uh, that little boot. It's been shot up a few times.
Yeah, I mean, somebody had a little cabin out here, it looks like. Oh. I have never seen a, look at that clay pigeon, look how deformed that is, I've never seen that. Now, according to our GPS, this was the Nevada Dominion Mine. And so far, this is the best preserved shaft we have yet. As you can see, there's still a ladder going down to it. And it looks like, I was hoping that might be a drift that continued, but it looks like it does end right here. This is probably a, uh, a vertical shaft that caved in. But uh, all in all, this is the most preserved one we've seen yet. This is really amazing. Look at those old bolts. Get ready guys, because we're about to see something incredible. Alright guys, so here we are at what is possibly the strangest place we're going to see today. As you'll see, out here in the middle of the desert, we have a giant tunnel. Uh, we're going to go in, take a look, see what's inside, make some guesses on what it could have been, what it was used for. Uh, pretty clear that it has something to do with the mines. I do think it's interesting that a lot of these mines out here, uh, from what I've gathered date from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. Now I could be wrong. But this tunnel looks like it was a lot more recent than that. Uh, just looking at how the, uh, how the concrete's poured and all of that. Uh, so I don't know. I really don't have any guesses on uh, if this tunnel was supposed to be a mine, if it was uh, for storing explosives or what it was. But, uh, you know, nonetheless, it's a really intriguing place. Uh, there's a lot of casings out here. You can see people come out here to shoot and drink. So it's not really a mystery. But, uh, you know, it's still... Uh, still a really fascinating place so let's go in and check it out so here we are at the tunnel as you can see it's got a lot of high quality artwork let's see what we got four score and your mama go got some boobs Real Quaid was here. So as you can see, this is still really muddy from a lot of the rains that we got not too long ago.
And it really does not go back that far at all. And as we get to the back, there's some uh, wire reinforcements up here. Oh, be careful, there's a wasp nest. A couple of them. And uh, you can see there's a lot of drilling holes. Looks like they were going to blast this wall out. So uh, my guess is this was uh, possibly a mine entrance that was really never utilized. Um, but this looks like as far back as it's ever gone. You can see us just solid rock behind us. Now the, uh, the actual walls of this are reinforced with concrete, which is interesting. And then the back here is just bare rock. Is this supposed to be Mickey Mouse? Doesn't look anything like Mickey Mouse. So as you can see, some, uh, some very colorful artwork. Look at this. So certainly a very interesting spot. Uh, like I said, I really don't know what the purpose of that tunnel would have been or why it's only dug like 20, 30 feet back into the mountain. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, drop them in the comments. Let me know what you think on what that tunnel was and why it was built and uh, you know why it was fortified so thoroughly and then just uh, never completed. If that, was, uh, if that was a storage bay or if that was an actual mine. I mean, I have no idea. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This is why we couldn't drive in. As you can see, this road has completely eroded out and there is no way to get a vehicle through here. Uh, fortunately, it's still plenty fine for walking. What is this? A big metal post in the ground. Huh. Wonder what that's for.
and we can see there's definitely a mine up here. So let's go check it out. wire look at this this is incredible what a place to put a mine this is absolutely incredible guys you see in this Coming up on some more big timbers here. There was something here, a big rock pile. And I think I see what it was. So let's go on up the hill and check it out. something there looks like there might have been a little uh, cabin or something here but it's long since burned down but what I'm interested in is straight ahead there's another mine Get this mine shaft. As you can see, it's been gated off. We can't get very far into the mine. But look at that, that just goes way back there into the mountain. And I don't know if you can see on this video, but there's some tracks for the ore cart that are running back through there. So this, uh, there's some vertical shafts that we're gonna see up the hill a little ways. And this must have been the, uh, the extraction route where they got the ore out of the mine. Uh, you know, on this horizontal shaft where they could roll the carts. Wow, that goes way back there. There you can see there's another gate a little further down. And, uh, yeah, that just continues way back into the mountain. Alright, so let's go on up the hill and check out these uh, big shafts that are up on top here. 
And now these mines that we're seeing today, this is just literally the tip of what's out here. I mean, there's another one out there. Uh, looking to Google Earth, there's some more along this ridge line. So, you know, like I said before, these mines out here, they're just everywhere. And it's, uh, you know, it's really incredible. Now look at this giant grate that they put over it to keep people out. This thing is massive. And underneath you can see all the original timber there. And now, and now looking down the hill, that other shaft we were just in, that horizontal one is right down there. So my guess is that it cuts through the mountain and this is the main shaft that it intersects with. And that was probably the drift that they used to get the ore out. Can't, uh, can't really see too much inside there, but it uh, definitely goes straight down. All right, let's move on up to the next one here. As you can see, this one is fenced off. It's got the barbed wire around it. And this one only has a partial grate. You can see most of that shaft is still open. So let's go ahead and get over the fence here. And see what we got. So I really don't want to go too close to this hole. This looks very eroded. And this is, oh my gosh, <laughs> that is a deep shaft that goes way down there. I can't even see the bottom. That thing is deep, man. There's the 
tailing pile from those mines we were just looking at. So I guess they were bringing some of the ore up to the top here. I figured it would have been easier to take the ore out of that uh, shaft down there at the bottom, which it looks like they did a little bit, but a lot of the tailings were still up here. It's such a beautiful day to be out here right now. We had a very long, very wet winter, and this is really the first week that the sun has been shining, that it hasn't been too muddy to come out here. So this is really great. I'm so excited to be out here again. So we're gonna start making our way back now. Uh, as you can see, this is the road that continues on up the hill. This goes way back into the hills of Spanish Springs. There are some uh, really cool sites up there, but we're gonna save those for another day. Uh, we might even need the rock crawler because the roads up there get really bad. And I don't know if I wanna take the Jeep up there. So uh, we'll save those for another day. So stay tuned for that. There's uh, some really neat spots up there. There's an abandoned house, uh, some old ranches, a couple of mines that I haven't been to yet. So uh, hopefully we'll discover some even more new places up there over the summer. enjoy these videos and I also hope you know how much I enjoy making them uh, you know for those of you that don't know me personally uh, you know outside of work in my personal life I'm extremely introverted I'm not much for crowds I'm not much for going out so being able to get out in the open on a beautiful day like this where the sun's shining the birds are chirping and just being able to enjoy that wide open space you know that really is my therapy that's where I love to be and uh, being able to share that with you guys is really an amazing thing to be able to do.